Recently, one of the viewers of the channel asked me whether I could post another video clip showing the HP 50G computations corresponding to the numerical solution of the exercise in the previous video. Of course I can. Here it goes. In this part, I'm entering all of those three complex numbers, the currents inside that delta, using KCL at each one of these three nodes, this one, that one, and that one, to find the line currents in the primary of that three-phase transformer. Those are the mathematical operations I'm performing. Let me do that first, and at the very end of the clip, I'll show you the details of how it is that I have programmed the HP 50G to do this as quickly as possible. First, I make sure the calculator is in degrees and in polar mode. And then I start with 10 space 3 divide 97 degrees A. That is the first current. And then 4 with a negative 20, enter. And the third one is 3 with um, negative 100, Enter. I have the three currents in the delta. Now I need to operate on them, and the first operation requires me to do 10 thirds minus 4 with a corresponding degree. So the best way to do that is I go up, 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 and I say pick, pick, enter, 333 minus 4. I say subtract, sure, subtract, and that is my first current. 626 with 132 degrees is this one and of course that uh, that is the first of the currents in our exercise and then what and then 4 minus 3 oh, sure let me go up here I say pick pick 4 minus 3 with the phases and everything subtract that is the result 4 56 with 20 degrees which you see up here 456 with 20.3 degrees that is the second current and the third one is 3 minus 10 thirds oh sure pick this one and pick this one and then subtract them and that is the current 626 with an angle of 91.1 degrees those are the three currents in the lines A um, O1, B1 and C1 and then what? And then we had to find the zero, the positive and the negative sequence currents corresponding to those three line currents, A1, B1, and C1. Well, all we do is we duplicate all those by picking them, pick, pick, pick those. So I have another copy of them. And I use another little program that converts between phases and sequence, phases and sequence space continue those are the zero sequence currents which is 10 to the negative 13 yeah that is zero all right that is a numerical zero 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 sequence 556 and a one amp of negative sequence so we can see them up here down here right those are the values those are the values let me slide the calculator to the side you say zero that is a zero sequence current in the primary and uh, 565 with 140 degrees that is a positive sequence current in the primary of the transformer and 109 with 80 degrees 109 with 80 degrees that is a negative sequence and then what hmm and then we do exactly the same to the three currents inside the delta right four three and ten thirds all we do is we take those four values so allow me those inside the delta all right so this one pick this one of four and uh, three and three 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 enter those are the three values of currents in the delta I want to convert from phase to sequence I click on this program here um, continue the program and those are the zero sequence inside the delta one amp the positive sequence three amps 
and the negative sequence 0 0.63 amps with some corresponding phase shifts. And that is the way, numerically, I perform the computations of the exercise number one in the exam. The detail. You want to know exactly how is it that I program the calculator to achieve that. I will show you the, the programs and it's up to you to pause the video copy that type it in your calculator test it assigned to one of the function keys etc according to the video on how to program the hp 50g let me show you first let me clear the the screen and i'll show you how to go from phase to sequence this program here red key and this one that is the program to go from phase values voltages or currents to sequence uh, values and uh, in there you can see well you cannot see all of it so I'll have to go down so that I can show you all the program there you can see all of it exactly now you can see all of it enjoy so that is the first of those of those programs let me delete that the other one is the inverse how to go from sequence to phase which we did not use at this time but it's extremely useful oh here it is it's very much like that one it's based on the previous one that is your program pause copy type assigned to one of the keys etc etc leave that and how is it that I enter those um, numbers so quickly in the calculator? First, let me show you. I have programmed two toggle keys here. One that toggles the calculator between degrees and radians. This one, you see, click radians, click degrees. But how is that programmed? Let me show you. This program is very short. It uses the system flag negative 17, and that is all there is in the little program. Pause the video, type it in, assign that to one key if you wish to do so. And I also have a toggle between rectangular and polar. Rectangular and polar. And that little program is just one that uses the system flag negative 16 and that is all there is to it clear but to type in the complex numbers from the stack and convert that into a complex number and you saw me doing that right and you you said how is it that you write something like three space 100 and you click on a and that understands that is absolute value three angle 100. It is because it is in polar form and it's in degrees. I could have, allow me, um, if the calculator was in rectangular mode and I type 3 space 4 A, it understands that 3 and 4 are real and the imaginary part of the number. The, uh, the function on, on, on the left, complex to the stack, just does that breaks the complex number and puts those two components on the stack in that order, right? So they are kind of the mirror of each other. Click F2, click F1. Mm. And what you get depends on whether the calculator is in polar form or in rectangular form, if it's in degrees or in radians. The program that goes from the stack to a complex number, the one in F1, is just that you see how short it is pause the videotape type it in assign to a function key and enjoy and the one to go from a complex number to the stack is as simple as the first one I think you've got all that you wanted um, I wish you all good luck with the programming of your HP 50G and uh, see you the next time thank you very much